So, uh, speaking of villain era, um, we really were drawn to like the sort of vibe and the aesthetic that you brought on the album, the sort of like dark, dreamy aesthetic. Yeah. So our, we were wondering, is that something that, you know, was planned out? Do you have like a Pinterest board? Like, you know me so well. What, really? <laughs> <laughs> or like, what did it come together naturally? Or It came together, like the thought was in my head and okay. then I was like, okay, I need to find like a visual like reference for this. So right. like I, I already knew like in my head, I saw it, like I wanted it to be like a dark, almost like a dark bride type of thing. Mm. Um, so then I just kind of started going on like, I love Pinterest. Like, <laughs> I just love it. Like. It's so many things on there, but like I just was trying to find different reference pictures and stuff so that I could show my photographer Tess. You guys know Tess? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. So I shout could show out shout out. Wow. I love her <laughs> so much. So so I could show her. So I was just finding a bunch of like references because whenever I like work with her, I like to give her like a very like detailed concept of what I'm going for. Great. It makes our job easier. So was definitely on Pinterest heavy beforehand, just kind of looking at like kind of uh, like dark, almost dark, almost dark religious mm, vibes, kind of for yeah. the visual. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. Like a like gothic almost. Like a gothic, yeah. yeah, yeah. So was it like so you had this idea for an aesthetic or an energy you wanted to go with? Yeah. Was was that because of something that was happening like in your life, or was it just like I think that a project like around this would kind of like work well or like kind of like what what's what's like the logical step because i you love you want to know what really what i really came out with my name from <laughs> you name? guys are gonna the name of the, of the ep yeah you guys are gonna love this yeah we love the tea of course so yeah, i obviously. came up with the name from the ep like the songs on it were really from like a, over, over a year span of what i was making but the name for the songs I actually was at one of the free slide open mics. Oh, wow. <laughs> performing Star Power for the first time. And then I was like, I made this song when I was in my villain era. And I was like, in my head, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because my name is Indigo Villain. Okay. Yeah, but, um, it works too well. Yeah, it yeah. worked too well. So, like, when I said it at that open mic, I was like, I was like in the car going, I was like, wait a minute. I think I'm going to name that the project. So that's where Wow. I that is hard. That no, is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. That's the one that we were at, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Moment in history. I know. Mm -hmm. We witnessed mm -hmm. it with our own two I know. eyes. Yeah. That's the of the idea. He didn't even know. Wow. That's yeah. incredible. Um, you said like Dark Bride, like was Corpse Bride on there? Like the uh, Tim Burton? Yeah, that was definitely like an inspiration. Mm -hmm. It's like, like photo shoots that were kind of inspired by that. So like, how can I bring that to life in a real way, in a we love black people way? Mm. No hate to Tim Burton. Oh, but, true. Know. Yeah. Um, but you know, you gotta you gotta make the art that you want to see. So exactly. I was like, because I I really did like Tim Burton's like art style and stuff like that, and just like that, um, like darkish vibe. Do you guys know about like Ethel Kane? I think her name. I know is. the name. Yeah. Yeah. So she has like a lot of. She's like a trans woman from like Florida, I think. But like her music is very like dark. She has like religious trauma and shit, mm. and it's just like taking back that like power of like religion and like making it into your own like creative expression type shit. So that's kind of also where I was inspired from as well. Is that like something that uh, you found relatable from yeah, her? Yeah, for sure. I definitely did. Like um, that's what I love about her. Like she just talks about like her journey with like religion and finding it in her own way with her own like, characteristics and flaws and things of that mm. nature and, and and kind of throwing away shame and retake reclaiming power over something that like had power over her for a long time being a trans woman in florida i can't yeah. imagine how that is and it's like she's a preacher's daughter or something like that so mm. yeah so absolutely that's where i got that from is if there's like a feeling or something that you want people to take away like after listening to villain era like what's what's kind of the, the feeling you get or what's kind of the thing for you um, for me, it was kind of like, um, like a message to myself and to anybody like listening, like to embrace like dark moments in your life, you know, try to make 
something out of it, try to make something beautiful out of it. Um, but don't try to repress it because that leads to more like darkness. So like my thing was kind of just like trying to embody this dark space or area that I might be in on this day or that day. And that's what I was doing when I was making those songs was trying to channel it into something positive. And yeah. So, yeah. so that for you personally, like the, the creation of Villain Era was it, did you, it, you think you achieved what you, um, yeah. what you were trying to like uncover? Yeah. Like I definitely feel like when it was out, it was a very like freeing feeling, kind of like letting it fly away and mm-hmm. just kind of releasing those, no pun intended, even though it's the last song, but releasing those feelings and emotions mm-hmm. and things of that nature uh, and, and saying, just kind of moving forward and saying fuck fear yeah <laughs> yeah like all of it is literally about all of that shit so hell yeah yeah 